Hello everyone, it's me again, Sophie at Lovable Spoods. How are you doing? So today I decided I was going to move my bigger colonies of isopods into bigger boxes because I started having babies. So as you can see, I've got lots of air vents, well, ventilation holes. And this is just a normal standard compost, but it is pesticide free compost. And in this, it's got loads of dead wood and all sorts, which is absolutely great for isopods. So since I'm moving to colonies, um, I have two boxes. Same thing again, same, same compost, same everything. Just the isopods are different. And one lot have babies. So in my dairy cow, con Connell colony my god in my dairy cow colony that's the word um one of my mamas pregnant mamas gave birth so this is why i'm upgrading them because i notice i have a few more pregnant mamas so as always let's get the moss out freshly picked moss Get it all mixed in there. Then I'm going to add some tree bark. Just to give it a bit more of a of a forest floor texture. Next we have more moss. And again, I'm just going to give that all a good mix in. I want it to feel and look as naturalistic as possible. Now it's time to add the isopods and everything that's in this box. Now the ones we're moving first are zebras. These are absolutely gorgeous. I will put the scientific name on the screen for you guys. These are absolutely gorgeous. They are feeding really well on carrot, cucumber and I do give them powdered food as well as eggshells as well. No, I do actually make isopod food, guys. I have a store on eBay. It's Lovable Foods. My isopods are literally thriving and it's wonderful. We will get a closer look at them once I've transferred everyone.
Now let's take a look at the zebra isopods. Now, no sooner had these guys moved in and, yeah, they were all up in um, each other's business, so to say. Yeah. If the cork box are rocking, don't come knocking. So, I'm expecting zebra babies soon, too, hopefully. Time will tell. Look how cute these guys are though. They are absolutely adorable. Now moving on to the next box. These are my dairy cows that had the babies and yeah, let's get them moved. <laughs> Look at that one just wandering around being like, where the hell am I man? <laughs> it's too cute. Anyways, we have some babies on there. I will get some proper close-up soon. Now let's carefully transfer this because there is babies in the substrate and I want to be very careful transferring them. Obviously, when I'm moving my hand, I'm not squashing. What I'm doing is I'm moving it between my fingers. So don't think for one minute I'm squashing isopod babies because I'm not. I could never squish a baby. Oh, that one just fell over. You fell over. Ignore my stupidness. It's been a long day. And there we go. <laughs> they are too cute. I have to say dairy cows and pandas so far are my favourite that I own. I would love some rubber duggies though. Oh, they're so expensive. Alright, let's have a closer look. is a close-up of the babies using my macro lens so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one please please don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you very much guys <laughs>